We just got some brand new news regarding a brand new open world Mario game that's apparently massive that kind of came out of nowhere. And to me, this is really exciting news because this game comes out on the next console apparently reportedly at the end of this year, 2024, which is crazy to think about. So over on Twitter, this guy named WWG, he kind of just posts like gaming news, leaks, rumors, stuff like that. He said new 3D Super Mario game has a huge surprise, leak reveals, and then he gives us a link. And this website is called comicbook.com. A lot of you guys have probably heard of it. It's actually a pretty big website, but there is a new 3D Mario game that's rumored to release this year along the Nintendo Switch 2, which obviously isn't the official name of the next console, but it's probably going to be some sort of revision of the Switch. It has potentially leaked a major surprise Nintendo has in store with the latest release in the long-running series, and they say that this game is four times larger than all of Super Mario Odyssey's environments combined. That's insane. So Super Mario Odyssey, in my opinion, was a pretty big game. That was a great game, by the way. Amazing game. I hope we get a sequel. So I wonder if this will actually be a sequel to Mario Odyssey or if it'll be a new title. I don't really know what to think because both would sell like crazy. Mario Odyssey 2 would sell like crazy and then a brand new Mario title that's open world would also sell really well. So I don't really know if this will be a sequel or just a brand new open world Mario game. As we all know though, like open world games have become so much more popular over the last few years. You got Zelda, Pokemon, a lot of franchises are going over to open world like the Halo Infinite campaign was pretty much like open world. It was like that open world style. Open world is very popular, so it kind of makes sense for them to go down that route. Apparently, we'll have Luigi, Peach, Captain Toad, and Pauline in this game. I'm sure there's going to be more. Donkey Kong will probably be in it. And this article made a point that, like, it seems like Mario and Donkey Kong have kind of been like connected again in recent years. Like, they been promoting a lot of things with Mario and Donkey Kong together just like how they how they were originally so that's kind of cool it'd be cool to see if Donkey Kong is in this game I'm really excited for this though and I wonder what it will be called and if it will be released this game now this website does claim to take everything with like a grain of salt because as we know leaks aren't official leaks could mean nothing I find it hard to believe that a new console is going to be released this year but then again who knows they may announce the next console in like the summertime sometime maybe at some nintendo direct i'm pretty sure there's usually a direct in august if i'm not mistaken i'm i can't remember but i'm pretty sure there's usually one in august so they'd probably announce it in the summertime maybe like june july whatever and then release it around november december-ish right in time for the holiday season christmas time you know so they can sell more consoles i think that'd be crazy and i also got a few more updates on the nintendo switch 2. i know this video is a little different usually i do pokemon videos but I kind of want to diversify a little bit so apparently the Nintendo Switch 2 will be easier to find than the PS5. As we all know, the PS5 and the Series X, Xbox, were just impossible to find. I, I didn't see a PS5 for like three years until I bought one, like in October of last year. So that'd be cool if this is actually like extremely, extremely mass produced to the point where it's not really a huge issue to find. I'm sure that it's going to be hard to find for the first like month or two for sure just because of how popular it's going to be. So many people are going to be buying this console, I'm sure, as long as they promote it right, which I'm sure they will. So that'll be really interesting. And also, here's a cool picture that is a rumor about the screen size comparison of the new console to the previous console. And apparently, it's an 8-inch LCD screen, not OLED, which is fine. I think LCD is fine. OLED is obviously better, but they are probably most definitely going to release an OLED in the future. So it looks like the handheld itself is going to be really similar to the regular Switch. Like the, the size in hand is going to be really, really similar. But the difference here is they're going to get rid of the huge bezel. So with the first edition Switch, the bezel is pretty large around the screen. I have that version and it's dated. Bezels really date technology. And then with the OLED Switch, they got rid of the bezel a lot. Like it's, it's minimized a pretty big amount. So it looks like apparently with the Nintendo Switch 2 or whatever the new console will be called, that bezel is going to be even smaller and the console itself is going to be bigger as well. But it's not going to be much bigger, but the screen will be much bigger if that makes sense, which is great. They did this with the iPhones, like iPhones used to have a huge bezel, iPads had a bezel, now they don't. I mean, I think they still make a version of the iPad with the bezel, but anyways, 
this is exciting news to me i'm really looking forward to see what this next console is going to be called if it is released this year i definitely want to try to get it on release day i don't know if i'd wait outside i, I don't think i'd wait overnight maybe one night i think i'd wait one night outside of like walmart but i don't think i'd wait like several days outside of target or walmart but i would really love to get this on opening day make a video about it it would be kind of a bittersweet thing saying goodbye to the switch but i hope the new switch 2 console whatever i hope it's backwards compatible that's my main want anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video